asking Robin if he would like his nest there. Oh, that sounds like a wonderful place. Me. <laughs> You're just punching my eyes out. Robin was so happy. He loved the tree that his home would be in, and where the tree was in the far forest. It was beautiful. The lumberjack was so happy that Robin loved where his home would be. Robin, the lumberjack, told Robin that he and no one ever could cut this tree, this tree part of the forest down, and nowhere, nowhere near it. You will always be safe in this forest. Robin then saw, sat, excuse me, on the lumberjack's shoulder, and they both started to whistle along. They were so happy and best friends. And I feel like I got gas. Excuse me. Oops, oh, I'm sorry. I, I totally applaud. I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to fart in the face. The lumberjack then picked up Robin's nest very carefully and climbed up this big, tall tree. Please don't hit me with that thing again. When the lumberjack got to the right spot okay, where Robin wanted his, excuse me, but I can't read. When the lumberjack got to the right spot where Robin wanted his home to be, the lumberjack then placed home <laughs> place home to be the lumberjack, then place it there. While Robin held the lumberjack, making sure it will never fall. I can't see because you keep moving the thing. It will never fall. Robin flew down to get more twigs, making sure the nest would be secure. The, ne the nest was very strong and also bigger, but just right for Robin. When it was done, Robin sat in his home. <clears throat> and was very, very happy, and even liked it better than before, where his new home was in the forest. Robin and the lumberjack were very happy. They met each other. They are very good friends now. The lumberjack then left, but told Robin he will be back in a few days with some wood and paint. He hopes Robin will really like this surprise.